Hi everyone. In this short video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can obtain a copy of Hayes process macro for our studio and also how to activate it. So um, what you're going to need to do is uh, if you are going to be running some analyses using that macro is you're going to have to call it up and basically go through an activation process each time that you're going to be uh, working with it. So um, it's a little bit different from what you'll see in the context of uh, the macro with SPSS, where um, if you go through the Windows option, it's already available for use. In this case, um, in our studio, what you would need to do is to uh, call it up, activate it, and then you can run your analyses. So in this particular video, I'm not going to be running any analyses. I'm just going to show you uh, the basics of activation of this macro. But the first thing we need to do is to obtain a copy of the macro, and we'll do that by going to this website right here. And I'll include a link to it underneath the video description. This is processmacro.org forward slash index.html and we'll go under the download button right here and scroll down and you'll see uh, there's a little button here for download from the resource hub at CCRM. So what I'll be doing is clicking on that and it takes me to this uh, website right here and there's a button that says uh, resource hub. We'll click on that and then get rid of that. Uh, we'll scroll down and you'll see it says process macro for SPSS, SAS, and R. So we'll click on download process version. This is version 4.3. And it goes to my downloads folder. So what I'm going to do is open up my downloads folder. And under here, you'll find it says process 4.3. And it's actually in a zip file. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and open this up and uh, the only way I can really do this uh, is to go through uh, Windows Explorer right here. So I'm just going to open that up with Windows Explorer there. And we'll take a look at the files that are contained within. So you'll see there's process 4.3 for SPSS, for SAS, and for R. And uh, if you uh, click on the folder for R, uh, you'll see there is a file right here. It's an R file. And if you double click on this, you'll see that it opens up in R. And uh, there's uh, some uh, some things that I was kind of working on previously, so I'll just get rid of those. And uh, so this is basically the macro right here. So at this point, uh, to activate it, what you're gonna have to do is you're, you will have to um, right click, select all, and then click on the run button right here. So I'll click on that. And it usually takes uh, you know a couple of minutes for it to activate. So you'll see running uh, uh, down below in the console, it's going through all the script uh, in order to activate. And once it's uh, once you see the final prompt, it'll be ready to go in terms of um, you know specifying your model and running your analysis. So um, at any rate, I'm just going to pause it for a second, let this finish out. Okay, and uh, so uh, there it is. So down here at the very bottom, you'll see it says process for our version. This, again, this is 4.3.1, and it says it is ready for use. And so now you can actually start to specify your models and, and run them using uh, the process macro, using the syntax that he uh, describes in his book. So that is uh, basically all there is to it. And um, in other videos, I will be uh, running analyses using this uh, macro in our studio. Um, and I hope you stay tuned. Thanks a lot for watching.